We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up PXD stock. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action last candle to the right hand side is a bearish red candle. We do have price action overall, higher highs. Price action overall, lower lows. Midpoint. Also adding. Second level highs. And third level highs. So let's zoom in the price. So you can see price action hanging out at their overall higher highs or price action highest areas at higher highs, a few levels up, or one level up. Current price is sitting at 229.11. So if price pushes up from this area, we are looking for price to tag that resistance line at 239.64. And before tagging that, there's a midpoint in that area. So it's going to add this. So when we do look down the time frame, we can see what's going on in the midpoint area from the monthly time frame. If price action break the resistance, it can head to the next resistance line in blue at 279.14. Before tagging that line, it can tag the midpoint at 2. 259.76 so if this market is going to push up further from price action being a bearish red candle spike down to the low identifying it lost a lot of momentum this price action candle may identify a revert or maybe identify as a reversion when it closed out for that market to push up so if that does happen is identifying multiple pushes on this level which will be second level highs so we can see market broke the overall midpoint identified a pattern pushed up to second level highs and consolidated so taking a look at this area if price action pushed up from this area and follow up with the after follows up with a bullish green candle there will be multiple spikes down to that low overall uh red and green first second third fourth retest market come up we can see that slight incline that's in there as we walk down the time frame if this area pushes down from the high it'll identify market tag that area of resistance so we did receive a single top and a double retest two spike ups and the market's trying to break and identify a retest which could be the price action candle because that is a bearish red doji long way down to the bottom and overall, we can see that price, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth candles in the market are all consolidating sideways. So that market is in that area, bouncing up and down, waiting for the breakout to the top side or the downside. So you're waiting for a pattern to identify itself. Walking down to the weekly time frame. Price action weekly time frame identifying a bullish green candle. What did receive before that third to last candle spike down to a low? So price action is trying to push up. We did receive a break in. We did receive a break of that SR line. Market's trying to come back for a full retest, but it hasn't engulfed the second to last candle wick to push that market up. Or body hasn't engulfed that second to last candle wick. So that market may be denied at that area, and this is why we've added that midpoint. Um, from that monthly time frame right above price so, you can see, so we can see what's going on and how far away um, price is away from the resistance line at a wider view. So taking a look at the market, market pushed down from this weekly time frame, market tagged that resistance. You can see that market once again started off at the high, came down to a low. We can see that we are in that midpoint. So once that market was in that midpoint, we identified that pattern. So we have that first, second, third, fourth retest market could 
push and break out so we identify as a triple bottom and a retest if not market can identify multiple pushes as we talked about earlier we have a single top and we still see that double retest but just going above price to that pattern at the high we do receive that double top which will be identified as a first second third market broke with the fourth leg with the third um third last candle did break that sr line so we, that's why we see a price trying to retest fully to push that market up but price is only making it so far up near the midpoint of this area of right below price overall because that's second level lows so we are looking for the break the retest somewhere in this area to see that market's going to push down further unless it's just going to fall over the bullish green candle we on the walk to time frame to see if the market is going to identify itself headed down to a daily time frame price action daily time frame bullish green candle working its way up so market's trying to get starting to get choppy on this daily time frame so when that market did identify so pulling back those multiple spike downs to that low this is the area we're looking for that market to push up so overall first second third we're still looking for that w to break out so we're looking for w's inside w so far within the last few candles in the market it is identifying consolidation but also let's get this out the way is identifying consolidation with a pattern forming in that area which you'll see a first second third fourth second last candle retest price is trying to push and break out double bottom and retest and after that we look for another retest for that mark to push out for overall triple bottom and retest If that map if that mark identify the patterns we have a tag that market tagged here it could tag it's tagging that air resistance here it can follow the bearish red candle and identify that the market did break into that area as we can see came back to return so that's the first leg second leg third leg bearish red candle drops that market down for that double top if it breaks out of that consolidation channel break retest markets coming down from a double top and retest okay so four hour time frame so we know we are near a midpoint and what that midpoint does is closes out that formation of the w probably could drop that a little lower close out the w formation or triple bottom formation so once again first second third fourth retest market push up price action look like a retest with momentum to push up on that triple bottom retest that's why we created that zone so we can see price is tagging that zone uh, excuse me that sr line placing the zone around that area a little bit above a little bit below and let's take a closer look at what's going on as we walk down the time frame head down to a three three hour time frame find price did break the sr the zone came back to return with a little bit of a push so we have a break retest market pushed up two hour time frame doing the same thing market third last candle spiked up second last candle came back to retest price action pushing and breaking out so we are looking for a retest on that zone so we're going to see if it's the market going to push up with bullish green candles to push that market up further uh before it comes back down to retest or we see the side by side candle uh bearish red candle that can identify a retest right near that area so far we still receiving that pattern break um re break retest push 30 time, minute time frame same as well starting to see what happened in the midpoint of that zone so that high area of that zone we did receive that first second third formation market broke retest perfect level formation closed out looking for the retest for that market to push up unless it consolidates as i said before side by side 15 minute time frame spike down to a low so that's a retest so that second last candle uh pushed up price action spike down with momentum to push up so it's a breaking retest we'll see that as we walk down the time frame still reading that consolidation price action spiked that low one minute time frame i go to full retest so market broke retest twice for that first second third trying to push up for the w formation looking for the current break then after that we look for the retest okay guys PXD stop.